risk business. I'm saying you have instances in this country where the South African, African traders who get outcompeted by the Somalis will then stand up and say, the Somalis are taking our jobs. And let's go and attack them. Nothing to do with that. It's just a businessman who's trying to protect his market. And it's called xenophobia. You know you had an instant instance here two years ago whenever. The colony you remember this incident. <clears throat> of a Mozambican who gets stabbed in Alexander Township and dies. <clears throat> and one of our big newspapers here says xenophobia. He was a Mozambican. What had happened is this fellow uh, was selling cigarettes in the street. And uh, three young fellows, they come, <clears throat> one of them says, uh, please can you, I'd like to buy this packet. And so the, the seller said, the man says, okay, fine, he gives him the packet. And another one says, no, no, but can I also get a packet? Which he does. And then they walk away without paying. So of course he chases after them. He says, but uh, you haven't paid. In the course of which there's a stepping and he dies. It was ordinary township tagari. If, if you know townships in the way I would, in the way that Tolani would, when I saw that thing, I knew very well, this is ordinary township tagger. But it was reported as, <clears throat> this was a xenophobic attack against the Mozambican. I don't even know that these thugs knew that this was a Mozambican. Because even his name was South African. He was a tall. So I'm saying that today, I think we need to treat this matter very carefully. Okay. Now let me say something, uh, with Professor Gamba. I was saying that there are many Nigerians who live here who don't get attacked by anybody. But <clears throat> there's a certain level of criminality. doesn't affect only Nigerians. But the truth of the matter is that the American it doesn't affect only Nigerians. But the truth of the matter is that the Nigerian criminals were involved in drug dealing. And that's true. And the Nigerian criminals were involved in prostitution. And that's true. And you'll find, like in this incident now, in this area of Johannesburg, Rosettenville, where there's been attacks on people, it's been against criminals, not Nigerians. There's no South African who goes around chasing Nigerians because they're Nigerian. It doesn't exist. But they will act. They will act against this person, whether it's a Nigerian or South African, who they say, this one is feeding our children drugs and destroying young lives. Then the, the, and they report to the police. The police don't act. Then the community takes the law into its hands. That will happen. It's incorrect <clears throat> to read that as being an offensive against Nigerians in South Africa, it's because it's not true. So I'm saying, <clears throat> when we talk about xenophobia and Afrophobia, we need to be very careful about it. This uh, last thing, this demonstrate to the South Africans, this last uh, demonstration in Pretoria, which resulted in some violence, a group of people from one of the townships, Mamilodi, uh, said, we want to march.
to the Ministry of Home Affairs to put a petition because we're complaining about lack of regulations with regard to immigrants and so on. So the municipality gave them permission to march. They were then joined by a group from another township, Atridgeville. So they marched to the office, people from Mamelodi, delivered their petition, and went back home peacefully. Nothing happened. Didn't, didn't attack anybody. The group from Atridgeville are the ones who attacked people. And the mayor of Pretoria, I don't know whether he was telling the truth. He said the people who were involved in that violence were people who had been involved in the same violence in August last year around the municipal elections. They didn't attack any foreigner. But they banned buildings and, and, and banned and vehicles in Pretoria because of internal politics of the ANC. The mayor said it's the same group that was involved in these attacks now, which were against Somalis in Pretoria. What is that? I'm saying the, the marchers from Mamelodi did not attack any foreigner. The one from Addisville did. Why? to attach this label, xenophobic, in many instances results in our not studying the issue in order to understand what are the sources of this thing so that you are able to deal with it. I'm, I'm really trying to discourage this idea that there is an African population in South Africa which hates other Africans. That population doesn't exist. Not in this country. There are instances of this violence which we need to understand. The sources and the origins of this thing. Who organizes this thing? Uh, is it spontaneous? Uh, what sparks it? Uh, there are many stories I can tell about this. But he said the central point I'm making is that the South Africans need to get into a serious study of this phenomenon to understand it properly in order to be able to intervene correctly to stop it. To, to sit under this kind of umbrella thing that is xenophobia. It's not going to help you to solve the problem.